Hi girlies, it's Jazz. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been quite some time since I did a video and I'm super excited to be going over my actual detailed makeup tutorial. I'll be going over my skin prep, concealer placement, my brushes. I mean, every single thing you may have questions about, I will answer it and I will show you guys all in this video. So all that being said, let's hop right into this video. Hold up, first thing first, if your skin prep is not up to par, how on earth is your makeup going to eat? Your skin do not have to look the best because mine is definitely breaking out. It's not the best all the time, but as long as your skin prep is good, your makeup is going to eat, okay? Now, after I get done cleansing my skin, I like to go in with this good Mother Curse Correcting Serum. I just saturate this all over my face and I like to wait until it dries down a bit and then go ahead and add my Eastern. I really do love this moisturizer. If you have really, really dry skin, I recommend trying this moisturizer because it gives a nice hydrating and just glowy effect. So go in with a serum and a good moisturizer. Now, after my skin prep, I love going in and doing my eyebrows after because I feel like it really just sets the tone of how your makeup is going to come out now to set my eyebrows in place i'm going with this duo lash glue and i really love how this glue do not make my eyebrows smudge nor flake off and it definitely keeps my eyebrows in place all day and as you can see i'm pushing my eyebrows up just so i can get my desired shape before i go ahead and fill my eyebrows in and like i said make sure you push your eyebrows up and just shape them before you fill them in by the way adding glue to the brows is really just optional it's really a preference i like doing so because i love how laminated my eyebrows look afterwards and i also love when my eyebrows just stay in place all day and they don't move but if you're gonna do so please make sure you work fast because the glue dries super fast and before you know it your eyebrows are literally not moving at all and you can't even shape your eyebrows so work fast now when it comes to filling in my brows i like to start off at the tail of my brow and then working my way up to the top of my and brow and you really want to have a light hand when filling them in and you also want to go in and create hair like strokes because you don't want your eyebrows to look too bold and just too unnatural so when you go in please just have a light hand and create hair like strokes and especially when you get to the top of the brow you see how i'm lightly filling them in don't go too heavy on that because it's gonna look so unnatural in it and the same thing i do to one brow I do to the other brow but i'm gonna stop talking and let you just watch Now after I know my eyebrows, I love going in with a blurring primer and I get a little oily around my T-zone so I'm going in with this oil sucker by one size and all I gotta say is it is a bit too drying. You gotta use it at your own risk because like it literally sucks up oil like Next, I like to go in with this Smashbox Hydrating Primer and I to put it all over my face except where I applied it around my T-zone because I like the areas around my face to be more hydrating than this part because it is oily. To blend out your foundation, please go in with a dense brush. I'm going in with the Real Technique brush. This is 200 and I love how it's dense but it's also not too hard and it's the perfect brush for foundation. So go in with a nice dense brush. I do recommend the Real Technique. This is definitely beginner friendly as well. Now once the foundation is giving skin, y'all see how amazing and skin like this look? Make sure your foundation is giving skin and blend it out to where it literally looks so good like mine. Y'all see how well this looks? The shade match is definitely giving, okay? Now when it comes to concealer placement, I love going in with my Kylie Cosmetics and placing it underneath my eye and then on a bridge of my nose and also on my forehead. Now remind you. When you're placing your concealer, you're placing it where you want to highlight those areas. So when you're placing it, place it where you want to highlight areas on your face. Now when it comes to blending out your concealer, I recommend using these two brushes. One. It's a real technique and this one is less dense so it picks up less product rather than a Sephora collection. It's way more denser but it also blends out those harsh lines that you may have. Also, my biggest tip is making sure your concealer is dried down a bit before you start blending it out because you want it to stay in place and you do not want it to move all over the place. And also, you want to really make sure you're tapping it into the skin. Please don't drag or swipe your concealer. Please make sure you're using tapping motions and not swiping or dragging. And you also want to make sure you're blending from inner corner all the way out to your outer corner.
And then I go in with this brush last. And the reason why I go in with this Sephora Collection brush is because I want to get all my harsh lines out. And I know that this brush is more denser and a little more harder to really get all those harsh lines out. And you can also go in with a sponge, but I prefer a brush just to get everything out and nice and seamless. Now, after all my concealer is blended out, I love going in with bronzer. And all bronzer do it is warm your face back up. So I'm going in with this real pocket blush as my bronzer. And the way I place my bronzer is literally just making a diagonal line like this kind of where my earlobe is and going down like this so now this is my bronzer placement and when you blend out your bronzer you want to go in with a nice fluffy dense brush and i like to blend out my bronzer with this elf powder blurring brush now when you blend it out blend it out going up as well don't drag it down because dragging it down only calls for it to look like it's contour and to give you more of like that darker harsh line rather than it looking a little more warm. Now to properly set your under eye, and I understand that creasing happens, but this creasing means you just did not set your under eye right. So if you have this creasing, something not right. And to avoid that, you want to go in with your concealer brush and just blend going up. If you have to, you can hold your under eye and just blend going up and really make sure that you blend it all the way to where it's no concealer setting in your lines. And now once you blend it out, it should look something like this, not sitting in your lines. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kylie Cosmetics setting powder. And when you set your under eye, it's really important that you look up when you set because you don't want to look down while setting because then your eyes is gonna be creasing and you're gonna have lines, which lines is normal, but to minimize it, just look up and then set your under eye. I promise it'll make such a big difference. Then I do a little bit of reverse contour. I can't even tell you guys the do's and don'ts about it because I'm still learning and I'm still trying to master it myself. But if y'all have any suggestions or any tips, please let me know in the comments below because I'm still trying to learn. So yeah. Now to brighten up my under eye just a little bit, I like to go in with this Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Blondie and just taking a little bit of that and baking it. Now all baking does is just brighten up your under eye. That's all it does, make it a little more brighter than what it normally would be. Now while that is baking, I'm gonna go in and do my lip combo. I love going in with my MAC Chestnut. Now I have to go in and just set my under eye again. And what I mean set it, I like to just press in the leftover powder in my face instead of wiping it away. Now after I set my under eye, I love going in with some eyeliner and making sure that my waterline's a little dark. I don't know, I just love the dark waterline look. And I also love going in with a liquid eyeliner and making sure I enhance my natural beauty mark. Now for my powder bronzer, I love going in with the Real Technique brush in the number 400. And I like to just make sure my face is nice and warm again. I don't know why, but I'm loving powders so much. I'm and I like to take my Juvia's Place powder and just mix both of these shades together like this. Pat it. And just apply it where I normally will place my cream bronzer. Just like that. Now for my blush placement, I like to place my blush above my bronzer. I literally swear by Juvia's Place blushes and I like to take the dark one and the light one and I like to mix those two together and just place it above my bronzer 
and I like to go in with a light hand with it and then to make sure my makeup is staying on all day and to give my makeup that nice hydrated glowy look I go in with some setting spray make sure everything is nice and melted and blended in together okay last but not least I go in with some mascara and I feel like you have to do your mascara last because you don't want your mascara to ruin your makeup and you also don't want to apply mascara and then apply setting spray because it's gonna smudge and you just look like a total mess Okay, girlies, this sums up today's makeup tutorial. I hope this video helped you all and had a better understanding of how to do your makeup. I did try to explain it the best way that I can. If you ever need any questions or I didn't go over anything, please comment below or even just DM me. I'll be more than happy to help you along your way. With all that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!